Hey, Billionaire Squad, it's your girl down at the beat, and thank you for joining me for one week of Money and Music. So this video is going to be ways for music artists to promote themselves. And so one thing that I suggest to any artist is to have a PR. PR stands for public relations. Look at this giant bump on my head. But anywho, PR stands for public relations, and so your PR will probably do most of the things that I'm going to tell you today. However, a few ways to promote your music is one, to get on playlists. You need to be on many, many playlists. One thing that I do know, a lot of people on Twitter make playlists. So definitely have a Twitter. Make sure that you are on many Spotify five playlists. Like it's people everywhere that make playlists. And the reason for the playlist is because you get new listeners, you get new people to find out about you. And um, that is a way for you know, people to start knowing your music, which means now they're searching and now they're playing it. And so when you have your first show, you want people to actually know your music. And also the playlist reverts back to royalties. And so the more your music is paid, played, the more you get paid. Okay, playlist. And then we're going to do DJ coalitions. You want to have a good relationship with DJs. And a DJ coalition is like a group of DJs who basically they they play the they play music in like a formation so like some djs uh make coalition cds some djs just pass music through to each other like some dj coalitions it's just like a group it's like a, a community right and and some of the djs live in many different states but if you if you type with a dj that's in a dj coalition and you have him play your music he might pass it to his DJ in New York, and then that DJ might pass it to his DJ in South Carolina and stuff like that. So that's a good experience that I had just being in DJ coalitions. Uh, three, you want to do press release, okay? So press release is when, you know, the blogs, the articles that's written about artists that's on Google or like, you know, you go on the internet, you see articles, oh, such and such did this, they networked with this, blah, blah, blah. So um, press release is a good one. I have a lot of internet blogs. Um, my music is fire. Uh, writer star podcast, stuff like that. So some writers have their own writing blogs, okay? And so an internet press release is a good thing because you might think people don't read anymore, but a lot of people still read. So if you are getting press release, a lot of people are reading about you in the blogs. So press release, DJ coalitions, playlists, Okay, you want to also submit your music for soundtracks, mu uh, movie, TV, and commercial soundtracks. You always want to submit your music for soundtracks, okay? And you also want to submit your music to be heard by different audiences. Like, it's a lot of um, A&Rs or PRs or, you know, whatever. They, they have these things where, okay, you can submit your music for such and such, whatever. If they actually have a good following, you might want to actually go ahead and submit your music. But so we can get into where you can submit your music for movie soundtracks and TV. If you guys comment down below and make sure you ask me for that video, because I'm not just giving out that type of stuff. But if you actually interactive, you ask, you share the videos, you like, you comment, subscribe. I will do certain things for y'all. So you definitely want to submit your music. And one thing about soundtracks, um, those kind of contracts come with upfront money. Okay. And so, yeah, um, submitting music for soundtracks, playlists, PR, um, A press release yeah so I think that's all for this video guys I just be trying to give y'all a little something something um, of course you want to do internet radio because a lot of podcasters have a great audience a lot of you know youtubers podcast internet radio it's a lot of internet radio stations like iHeartRadio or speaker or stuff like that it's people out here that's really doing their thing and one thing about it not only do you want to have good relationships with djs you want to have good relationships with podcasters okay so somebody that's like kai sent or dj academics or 
you know, like an Angela Yee, somebody who actually has their podcast going. Like, it's a lot of people who do podcasts. They're like, okay, no, I'm not an artist. No, I'm not an actress. But I do commentary. So you do, you want to have relationships with people who do commentary. You know, somebody like, I'm not going to say. Anywho, but I do have my own blog. It's called Writer Starve. But again, you want to just keep connections with the right type of people. You also want to have connections with promoters, promoters promoters so those are your relationships it's going to be prs promoters djs podcasters okay that's gonna get you far and so the way to make money in music is to actually have the people know your music you want to build a community so this is a way for you to build a big community yeah it's cool for the people in your neighborhood to know your music but when it get to you know 50 states and international you need people everywhere that can spread your music okay so with that being said i hope you guys like the video um comment share subscribe make sure you're tuning in for the next one because it's getting deeper but i'm trying to give y'all like the basics first so yeah i hope this video was helpful i can't wait for somebody to just tell me like yeah i did everything that you said and it really worked for me so make sure you comment down below. Let me know what videos you want me to do. Let me know what questions you still have. Let me know where you're at in your um, music business so that I can help you from where you are. A lot of game I get paid for, so I don't just give it away, give it away. But I definitely will help y'all with what y'all need help with. I love you guys. <laughs> and I'm out here, okay? I'm letting the world know who I am. But anywho, I'm a very valuable piece in the industry. I've worked with Universal. I've worked with um, Empire. I've done PR for over seven artists that's actually doing really good right now. I've worked for some major names, but I'm not going to get no clout off their names. I'm going to, you know, keep that business in the background. And I'm going to continue to do me because if you see what I'm doing, I'm just trying to help the culture, okay? A lot of people are starving artists because they don't know the business behind music. And we're not doing that, Okay. We want to make money off of our art and we want to make sure that our kids and generations after us benefit from what we are doing. You still can win as an independent artist. You just have to know the business. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell the world about Donna the Beat and I will be back in my next video.